Hey everybody, Young at Heart here, and welcome to hell. <laughs> We're playing Dark Souls again, and we are going into the underground to start facing the horrors that we have down here. Um, you can actually see the first boss there, the little tentacles moving. That's the, uh, the ceaseless discharge. Which just sounds gross. But, um... That's our first boss. Uh, in this area, we actually have a lot of mini bosses. Um, or actually, actual bosses as normal enemies now. So the Capra Demon that I had so much trouble with before, he's a normal enemy down here now. The Minotaurs are normal enemies. It's a nice way to show, hey, look how far you've come at the same time. Screw you, you're going to die. Now, Ceaseless Discharge will not attack us unless we attack it, and which which case, it'll as soon as we leave, it'll stop attacking us again. Or we take the armor that it's guarding. As soon as we take the armor, it always becomes hostile. And we actually need to kill it if we want to get down there to get rid of the lava. And we need to go down that way, so... Let's go kill a Ceaseless Discharge. Ooh, man, you ugly. So, it's, I'll tell you the fight before it actually starts, because I get distracted. Um, he pretty much just runs up, throws the tentacle down. You've got to dodge the tentacle, hit the tentacle until he dies. Uh, a good way to do it is to run into this corner. He'll get his tentacle into that uh, little crevice there. He can't reach you, so you can just dodge the tentacle really easily, hit him, and then run away. Really easy way to do the fight. So, the ceaseless discharge as well, if you don't know the lore, is actually the only uh, son of the Witch of Isleth. And he's actually guarding one of his sister's bodies. This is hers. If you um, take the armor from her, you'll see that it's uh, one of the pieces of armor worn by the Daughters of Chaos. So we'll take this armor and immediately he gets pissed off. Wants to kill me. And it is time to run. So those tentacles he has has a um, pretty wide um, area of effect as well. So it is really, really important that you don't go anywhere near them. Because they will knock you back and they can knock you into the fire and all this shit. It's just... So unfair. Oh, there we go. See. How much health that took off. So I was still too close. comes again. So we need to coax him to shoot his tentacle down here. Here buddy, buddy, buddy. Yeah, be a good little discharge. Oh god damn that hurt.
Yeah, this is new for me. I've never seen him do that shoot fire attack. It's weird. Man, give me a tentacle to work with here. What are you doing? Oh, not what I meant. Please tell me he hasn't bugged out. Uh, uh, don't, don't bring it back. wasn't following his usual the way of doing things. <coughs> I don't know, they might have patched him. Like, they might have changed that since a patch or something. I don't know. There was originally a way you could kill him instantly. All you had to do was run back to the door and he would simply walk off the edge and die. Um, they quickly changed that. This is the hardest part, getting back to that little um, alleyway without him killing us on the way. Hey buddy. Sucks to be you, sorry. On the bright side, he's doing what he's supposed to now, thank God. And now he's walking away. Shit. Excellent. 
I don't know, I think I might have been in the wrong area. It's a high probability considering I don't pay attention to my surroundings. That did a lot of damage. All right, last charge. Oh, that nearly was my last charge. Finally! Alright, there he goes. And all the lava disappears. Well, not all the lava, actually. Some of it stays. But enough that we can walk around without having shit hit the fan, so to speak. See if we can snipe one of these boys. Damn, just short. Okay. We have souls somewhere around here, don't we? Where are they? Because there they are. I shall take those. Thank you. We're gonna go back around there. We can go down and fight the uh, the Taurus demons. Charge ring, I think, is what we call what it's called. Um, it allows us to temporarily walk on the lava, so we can't stay on there. It'll slowly drain our health like toxic and poison. But we won't instantly burst into flames like we normally would. Which is better than nothing, all things considered. Actually, we might go down and get some health back while we're here. Oh, 
All right, now we got some. Uh, now we got some Estus. We should be right. How much do we need to level up? Ah, 34, okay. So we're not far off leveling up. <coughs> oh, and you might remember from the last time I fought one of these egg guys, don't freaking attack them. A million worms come out of them and they just, uh, it's just not pretty. Not pretty at all. So you can see how many Taurus demons are down there. <laughs> and why I thought maybe sniping them was a good idea. Luckily, <coughs> if you remember when we first fought it, it's weak against lightning. Which Ariato now emits. So far, so good. Just gotta lure them out one by one, I think. That was stupid of me back then. I tried to take on two. Here we go, come to Papa. And one to go! Yay! I don't think they respawn either, thank god. Okay, there we go, so they're all gone. be sweet to go get the ring now. The 
ring that's sitting in the middle of the pool of lava. God damn it. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's not the ring. <laughs> God damn it, that's right. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I just lost it. 40,000 souls. <coughs> Please tell me they don't respawn. No, they don't. Excellent. Okay. So at least there's that. Where is this damn ring then? I think that might be it over there. Get the souls first. Alright, well, I'm gonna go try and find the ring. When I do, I'll uh, start the episode from there so you guys at least know. But if you liked the episode, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!